Hey, what is going on Terminator fans? Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Grindhouse Grotto. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for amazing Terminator content. As always, guys, I appreciate all support. So go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Today I want to continue my discussion on Terminator 6 Dark Fate, in particular John Connor's character. I've talked about his character or his absence of the character in this new film and my other videos. So go ahead and check those videos out. I've talked about them um, in the Terminator Timeline video I did and the Where is John Connor video. Those are two really good videos where I discuss John Connor in the actual timeline of the series. Before we get started, I want to give a little bit of a disclaimer um, as far as my channel goes. So I've been very active in the comment section and I've been kind of listening to people's comments and replying to people's comments and just thoroughly enjoying um, people's ideas on things. And then, you know, I'm going to be quite honest, there's some negativity in my comment section, and I want to address that today in this video. Um, I think there's a little bit of confusion of what my desire is with this channel and what I'm here to do. Um, first and foremost, I am a Terminator fan just like everybody else. I am not an expert on the Terminator series, I've never claimed to be an expert. Um, I'm just here for the love of the series, and I enjoy discussing different theories and different ideas and plot points from other films, and just having a general discussion with my um, followers about where the series could potentially go. Like I said, I don't know everything. I don't know the ins and outs. I've never read the books. I've never read the comics. I've just watched the films many times, and I just thoroughly enjoy the series. And I will continue making these videos and discussing different plot points and giving my ideas and analysis on the films. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue our discussion on John Connor's character in Terminator 6. So, I've discussed in my other videos John Connor's character or his absence of, his, of the character in Terminator 6. Um, we've seen recently that um, John Connor has not been casted um, as an adult John Connor in this film. Um, we've already seen that the film has ended, the filming has ended for this film, and so they're at this point, they're not going to do any more filming. Um, so, unless we're being duped by the production, there very well could be a actual John Connor in this film. He just hasn't been named yet on IMDb because maybe they're keeping a secret. Maybe they could be going along the route of John Connor's in hiding, or he's got some kind of different role in this movie, and we're going to find out when we actually see it. But there has been a, fear, a theory uh, floating around the internet and people have been discussing it that they are essentially going to write out John Connor's character that he could potentially die in this film. Or he could just cease to exist because of the events of Terminator 2. That is what I'm here today to explore is my ideas on John Connor not being in this film. And if they go that route and they write his character out, how are they going to do it? So I've given this idea quite a thought. Um... I've been trying to wrap my head around it. And basically what this theory says is that if they go the route of writing out John's character and he basically ceases to exist or dies, this rumor says that right after the events of Terminator 2, you know, we see uh, Uncle Bob being lowered into the, into the molten lava. We get the arm thrown in, the chip thrown in from Terminator 1. T-1000 dies in the lava. And we saw that they destroyed Cyberdyne and Miles Dyson died. So basically everything surrounding the future, you know, Judgment Day and the development of Skynet doesn't exist anymore. So does that lead to basically John Connor not serving a purpose in the future and potentially his character not existing? That's the idea that's been floating around. Now I'm going to go a little bit further on this idea and basically say that there's the possibility that we are going to see a scene, you know, Directly after the end of T2, we are we could potentially see a scene where John Connor just basically is erased from existence, and we, we could see a very dramatic, um, very saddening, and just a really you know very sad ending to John Connor's character, where where possibly Sarah you know Sarah's holding John in her arms, and basically he just you know, fades, fades, fades from existence and is, it is ceased to exist at that point. Um, I, I kind of added a clip at the beginning and that that's a clip from the ending of 30 days of night. And that's really the only thing that I could show you all to kind of give you the idea of what I'm thinking of. 
and it might not be the same, exactly the same as that, you know, because that's a, a vampire movie where he's basically like burning because of the sun. But that same principle of somebody who loves the main character, you know, holding that person in their arms and basically that person just vanishing or, you know, just ceasing to exist. And, and I just trying to think about that. And, and if that's Sarah, Sarah holding John and, and that would be a very just a very sad end to um to John's character and I feel like it would it would be appropriate in a sense. I feel like it would be um a, it would be so dramatic that it's it would leave Sarah so emotionally scarred and um you know she would be so filled with anger and just feel filled with sadness and we would see the see how it affects Sarah in this new film and and, and going off of what Tim Miller said about you know the effects or, you know, the costs of what Sarah's done in this film are going to um, play out in Terminator 6. And I feel like that could be a, an explanation of what he's saying, is that, you know, they, what they did to um, Cybernon Systems and destroying the arm and, and, and killing the Terminators, and John Connor could basically not exist in this film. He has been written out of this timeline. He serves no purpose in this future war. Um, and there's this new timeline that we're going to see and there could be remnants of Skynet that exist that are maybe Skynet's being developed by another company or, you know, some, maybe we are going to just going to see, you know, the development of, of robotics and stuff like that during this time period. And we're going to see, you know, Arnold's character is somehow going to be in this film and he's going to be a, um, remnants of a, of a deleted timeline or something. I don't know. But I feel like that theory with John Connor is very fascinating. Um, do I think it's going to happen? I, I think it's a pretty decent theory. I don't know 100% that they're going to go that route. Um, like I said, we all could be being duped right now. I just think it's really fun to think about these theories and what the possibilities are. And the fact that they are, they have casted a young John Connor and a Brett Azar. And they're both physically going to be the same you know, age and size of... Are, you know Uncle Bob and um, John Connor from Terminator 2. So are they going to be replicating scenes from the end of the movie? That's what I want to know. And um, that's what I'm here to talk about. So leave your comments in the comment section. What do you think of this theory? Do you think it's plausible? Do you think we're going to see some flashback scenes where they somehow write out John's John Connor's character? Is he going to die? Um, is he going to be in hiding in this film? What are your thoughts? Drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on this film and John Connor. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. All support is greatly appreciated. And until next time, guys, take it easy.